Good evening. Good evening. My name is Ann Wesp. I live in Centerport on the Mill Pond. Earlier this week, the Centerport Harbor Civic Association broadcast the information that Resolution 55 2024 230. A lot of people in Centerport were absolutely thrilled to think that the chalet property could be purchased and turned into a park. The Bald Eagle folks were also thinking it was a terrific idea. Indeed, it would have been an enduring and visionary legacy from all of you on the board. From the bottom of my heart, I want to thank every single person who worked on this project. It was a, a special shout, ooh, shout out to Ed Gaffman. Then on Tuesday, the owners decided not to sell. This was crushing news. We don't know why the owners changed their minds. Maybe they just wanted to continue operating the motel business, and we must respect that. Or perhaps they are entertaining other offers, which could be above an appraised market value. It would be very discouraging if the process of getting an ESPA involved has resulted in escalating the value of property that had the potential to be saved as a park. I would like to take a minute to address what the future might bring. There are five parcels of land included in the chalet holding. They range from residential on the western side of the freshwater pond to commercial restaurant and motel along Senator Road. If a potential buyer wants to put in buildings that are of a new use, they will likely face zone changes. We would hope that the town would hold the line and protect this precious property for the future. Let me share a story with you. About 20 years ago, the chalet proposed redefining their property by putting in a three-story hotel with a footprint the size of a football field. At the time, my husband and I thought that was an unwarranted intensification of use. We fought it. We lost at the ZBA. We filed an Article 78, which went to Riverhead, and we lost again. And then we took the case all the way to Albany, and we finally won. We did everything we could to protect Centerport. Others will do the same in the future. The proposal to make the chalet a park has awakened Centerport. Everyone is now hoping that this will happen someday. Any efforts to change the use of the property in the meantime will be met with careful scrutiny and perhaps significant opposition. Finally, I hope that you will not be daunted, that you will continue to try and get this critical project back on track. I applaud the fact that you've even left the Resolution 55 on the agenda tonight. It would be wonderful to be prepared if the owner changes their mind again. I think we have to thank Sal for doing that. Let me end here. It's terrific to get this as far as you did, and we hope you have future success. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. West. And, and we, that's exactly what we did. We left it on because oftentimes in, these, in the process, people change their mind. They say yes, then they go, they say no, and then they say yes again. But we want to be prepared. We'll get an appraisal done on the property and, uh, and see if there's you know, a deal to be made down the road. So thank you. You're welcome. And a shout out to Ed Gathman, our, our deputy town attorney, who does a fantastic job. And that Ed Gathman right there. There he is. So thank you. Uh, Dwayne.